What's going on, Avid Max Fly Tires? Welcome back to Tying Tuesday. Brady here with you on location in Alaska. Thought we'd uh, bring along the vise today and uh, tie up a little bug. So got something super simple planned for you. Uh, real easy, but uh, a very location appropriate fly here. We're gonna tie the UV2 row yarn egg today. And this is a fluorescent orange color. So again, super simple. Go ahead and start like we normally do and throw our hook in the vise. I'm using the Stonefoe Air One, which is a great little travel vise. Very compact, very lightweight. So lightweight, in fact, that we had to be a little resourceful and throw a rock on the base to keep it in place, but that'll get us going. So I'll get that hook in the vise. I'm using a Gamagatsu Glowbug hook today which is a nice, stout, short, straight shanked, straight eyed egg hook. And I'm gonna pinch the barb on it here real quick. And lock her in. So now we got our thread using the Vivis fluorescent orange in 10 knot today. Great little hot fluorescing thread. We'll start that right behind the hook eye with some locking wraps and walk our way back. It's about that excess. Very simple, but of course, with all the salmon in the waterways up here certain times of year, eggs are going to be a great option for you. So we got our UV2 row yarn, great material. Available at Avid Max, of course. Check out the link in the description below if you're interested in tying your own up. Comes in a variety of colors. This is the fluorescent orange. So first thing I'm gonna do is strip a little bit off and kind of find that core, give a nice even tie-in point. Trying my best to hold on to all that excess material. Don't wanna litter this beautiful area. So we'll secure that right in on the back end and wrap on forward. And I'm gonna go about a half a hook eye back and leave myself some room to tie off and secure that in place. So we'll do a half hitch to hold our thread and then we'll palmer our row yarn forward. And you can see the core is built on one side and the other side has all of the palmer style chenille yarn, almost like a McFlylon style yarn. And we'll just go ahead and walk that forward and continue to work that material rearward as we go. So a handful of wraps, it's about six or so to get up to the front. And then same thing, I'm gonna sort of part them and try and find that core again to get again, a nice clean tie off point where it finishes behind the eye there. And we can clip out our excess material, secure it down, and then give it a nice whip finish. And I didn't bring any glue with me today, so I'm just gonna do a dual whip finish on this bad boy and get her ready to fish in the river that's right behind me here. like so and then i do brush this out as well just kind of get all those fibers freed up nice thing about the air one is it is a rotary which is a great function in a lot of different ways so yeah cool little egg pattern very very simple to tie if you're heading on a trip 
the right time of the year, the late summer in Alaska, and you're going to fish some waters that have a good salmon population with the trout chasing behind, this little fly in the right areas will bring you a lot of success. So thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you watching today. Check out all the materials on avidmax.com and tie some up for yourself. And then get out and explore and, and see if you can find some beautiful areas just like we have here in Alaska. Very fortunate to be out here today. Thanks for watching.